Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. Um, where did you uh, – you guys shot sub-30% from the uh, from three. Only had 10 turns. Like, what did you think the biggest, I guess, the most important area um, that led to tonight's win was? I thought just um, grit, being resilient, you know, not giving in. We had all the chances to give in, but our team, you know, we just kept fighting. You know, we kept scrapping. Um, we didn't want to lose that game. And, you know, this team has been finding ways to win all year. Um, so that was just good to see. Um, some great contributions. I thought, you know, in that second half, Nico and uh, Reggie Jackson really took the challenge on CJ and, um, and Powell, um, you know, who really hurt us. Um, they took the challenge in that regard. Um, I thought Cousins came in and gave us a great, did a great job offensively, just making some good passes. Um, scoring 11 points, I think he had. So it was a, a total team win. But the biggest thing for me is just being resilient, not giving in. And, um, you know, just keep competing. And um, PG was special tonight. You know, I thought he really controlled the game. I thought down the stretch really took his time, um, got other guys shots and got other guys involved, but also brought us home by scoring the basketball as well. We'll move over to Law. Uh, first of all, uh, we're watching it on the broadcast, and it looked like you were really animated when the game – uh, right when the game ended, right when CJ missed that last shot, uh, was there any explanation for, or I don't know, it seemed like you were yelling at somebody or something? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I was mad. At, I mean, I can't say I probably get fine, but I mean, I just thought we played through the officiate, you know, all night. And it was like a playoff game. You know, he, they, you know both sides were physical. Um, wasn't a lot of free throws. And, um, you know, you know, like I said, just kept playing through it. And um, that's what I was pretty animated about. But, you know, we kept fighting. You know, we didn't complain. Um, got some tough calls. You know, that happens throughout the course of the game. But we stuck with it. And I was proud of our guys for that. Can I move over to Farbach? Hey, Coach, what have you seen from PG in these in these last seven games? I mean, he's, he's averaging 32 points on 55% shooting. Uh, what – is there anything that stood out to you the most in these last seven games you've seen from him? I mean, it's what he was doing all season, you know, before um, the injury. So, you know, he's back to playing at a high level, you know, um, his foot is, you know, feeling better. And, um, you know, he's been doing this all season, so it's nothing new. But like I said, he's been carrying us, you know, um, for I've been out, I think, three or four games. But, you know, PG has really stepped up, you know, and um, made his teammates better, but also scoring the basketball as well. Tonight had 11 rebounds, you know, so. Um, just doing everything, you know, complete game tonight, and uh, we needed every bit of it. Okay, we'll move over to Justin Russo. Hey, Coach, how would you evaluate the team's defense tonight overall? I mean, McCollum scores 28, but he takes 26 shots. Carmelo has 18 on 18. Were you thrilled with the defense or kind of in the middle? Uh, kind of in the middle. I've got to go back and watch it. You know, they only shot, you know, 32% from three and 44 from from the field, so – um, that usually equals, equals a pretty good night, but I thought they scored a little too fast. Um, I wasn't too pleased with our communication on our switches. Um, they got a couple shots in transition. We didn't get matched up. So, you know, just those things, you know, we got to continue to keep getting better at. But the biggest thing for me is just communication. We got to get better with our talking and communication um, out there on the Florida defensive side. Hey, Andrew, you can go ahead. Uh, you you had said when when Rajon was added that you know obviously it's gonna there's an acclimation period but at one point tonight he was I think plus twelve in his first fifteen minutes he threw some some seeing eye passes kind of where is is he farther is he farther along I guess uh, in picking up things picking up guys tendencies than maybe you even expected or is this about where you thought he might be? I mean he's been asking a lot of questions you know PG Kawhi and the guys are just where they want the ball delivered you know how they want it but. I mean, if you see just how he gets PG on a couple of backdoor layups, you know, Kawhi on some backdoor layups, getting some, some easy baskets. And, you know, when you're a scorer like PG and Kawhi are, you know, it's good to get some easy baskets, you know, kind of open up the basket for you. And uh, Ronald's been great with that, you know. So he's always talking to those guys. You know, they watch film together on the plane, you know. So just adding Rondo, like I said, having a quarterback on the floor has really been valuable to us. Okay, we'll move over to Mason. Hey, Coach, um, what did you make of, of Boogie as sort of like a, 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 a hub in, in the post in the second unit? It seemed like he only had one assist tonight, but it seemed like every possession started with a Boogie post up and then the ball swung around the court. Well, in the first half, I saw they, was, they were double teaming him every time he uh, touched it. So uh, we wanted to try to use that to our advantage in the second half. You know, if they're going to come and double, just stay spaced. You know, Pat Pat did a good job of ducking on the backside and 
Luke Kennard had a couple of shots. Warney turned down. Uh, Nico got a shot. You know, Rondo was able to catch and go on, on, on one of the swing swings. So um, they're going to double team the post. You know, we want to try to put two on the basketball and then play from there because we know, like I said, Boogie's a, a great passer out of the post. He's unselfish. But also he was able to go to work when they played a one-on-one. Hey, Tom, Mary, you can go ahead. Yeah, Ty, you, t- you talked about Rondo sort of adjusting and asking questions and seeing where guys like to uh, like the ball and all that. But, like, have you seen guys maybe, like, try to adjust to, to him and his, you know, his, his tempo? I know I've asked this before, but how have you seen that progression go along as you guys have played more games? Yeah, I mean, it's going well. You know, like I said, Rondo's catching the ball, you know, one or two steps uh, in front of half court on the initial outlet. So he's always talking to guys, encouraging guys to run the floor. And the more we run, the, the easier, the more easy passes we're going to get because guys got to protect the rim first, and that's what's opened up our three-point shot. And, you know, offensively tonight, you know, we scored 113 points, but I thought we did a good job offensively sharing the ball. I thought we got some great shots that we didn't make, and that's going to happen. But to stay with the game plan and um, continue to keep going and keep fighting, uh, we did that. So it was a great win for us, you know, against a team that's, you know, playing tough and playing hard and still fighting for playoff position. So, um, it was great for us. Okay, we'll close out with Law. Hey, Ty, uh, this was, I remember last month, uh, you, you answered a question from Justin about uh, blowing teams out so much that you don't really get a chance to play these uh, close games at the end. Uh, you know, how does the team really approach, you know, these late game situations? Like, what's, what's the mood like? Uh, how much does this kind of a win late um, make a difference between, you know, the blowout wins that you guys have racked up, especially against this opponent? Yeah, um, it was just good. You know, I think our guys embrace it. You know, um, you're always up for the challenge. You always want to be, you know, one of the guys in the park when you're young. You know, count down three, two, one, and make it a game winner. But, you know, I think our guys embrace it. You know, and then the harder it gets, what I like about our team, um, the more we sustain, the, the tougher we get instead of going the other way. And um, we saw a lot of games like that, like I said, this season. And uh, we always find a way to either come back and keep fighting and competing and then have a chance to win at the end of the game. So. Like I said, I'm proud of our guys. You know, um, the things we've been working on, you know, it's finally coming, you know, coming to light. And, you know, we just got to keep preparing, you know, keep, keep clawing, keep scratching, and, you know, try to stay healthy as we can.